It may look like a junkyard full of scrap metal, but it's actually a workshop for high-end art pieces. For these two architects, the sky is the limit. The startup business Sky Decor is turning all planes into avant-garde furniture. We're getting scrap airplanes from airports around the country and we're turning them into art pieces and we call it functional art. Um, so furniture <laughs> is another way of defining it. The Sky Decor line includes coffee tables made out of propellers, benches made from fuselage metal and wet bars made of tail wings. The wood is also recycled from old bands around Kenya. Omondi and Ki, who grew up together, initially developed the idea on a camping trip last year. And we saw a Cessna that was abandoned just sitting out in the field. Um, and it was just beautiful. We didn't really know what we were going to do with it or why we liked it so much. But we, we ended up buying it, bringing it back here. Um, and then over conversation and over a few months, uh, we decided to make it into furniture. Most of the planes have been decommissioned for more than 20 years, making them around 50 years old by the time the team strips the paint, polishes the metal and turns them into furniture. Omondi and Ki also regularly scout for abandoned aircrafts in rural parts of northern Kenya. We love doing it, it's a lot of fun, it's, an, it's a good adventure. Omondi and Ki were both trained in architecture in the United States. In just a year of operation, their company has made a name for itself in Nairobi's art scene. They recently caught the eye of Stanley Bank, which is pursuing a green initiative. It's the first time that we're really encountering where there is the combination of art and utility. So quite often we will see in the art world aspects of recycling, uh, and we see many examples of that, but they don't necessarily also perform a practical function. So this is a great initiative. Sky Deco hopes to begin exporting its products to South Africa later this year. The co-founders say they hope the aesthetic and historic value of their recycled furniture will bring them success even outside of Kenya. Susan Mongelisi, CTV.